Hey everyone, in today's video I want to talk to you about my favorite natural lighting technique that I use for my portrait photography, which is backlighting. So if you've watched my behind the scene photo shoot videos on YouTube, you might have noticed that I use backlighting pretty much the majority of the time when taking portraits. So in this video I'm going to explain to you what gear I use to achieve that look, what camera settings I use, and what I look for in a location and the lighting to get these backlit portraits. So jumping straight into it, backlight is when you have your main light source, which in my case is the sun, positioned behind your subject. So as a photographer, while you're taking photos, the sun is streaming into your lens. This is also called shooting against the light, but I prefer referring to it as backlighting. There are a few reasons why I love shooting with backlights so often. As a portrait photographer, backlighting is really flattering on your subject's skin because there is no harsh light falling directly on your subject's face. This is also because shooting into the light means that your photos will have slightly less contrast, which is what adds to that flattering look. So here are two raw photos straight out of the camera that haven't been edited. One was taken in harsh lighting and the other one was taken in backlighting. In the photo where the sun is falling directly on the model's face, you can see that the overall photo has really high contrast and this highlights every texture on your subject's skin. In the backlit photo, there is significantly less contrast and thus there is less texture that you can see on the model's skin and it makes it look more flattering. Another reason why I love using this natural lighting technique is because it gives your photos a bit of a dreamy feel, which is the style of photography that I'm after. I also do a lot of wedding photography on top of my portrait work, so that soft, dreamy kind of backlit photo is perfect for weddings. So I find that backlighting works the best during the morning or the afternoon when the sun is a little bit closer to the horizon and not as high up in the sky. Um, in saying that, backlighting is a really handy technique to have when you do have to shoot through the harsh sunlight. So these are some photos I took around 1pm in the summertime, which is when the sun is really harsh here in Australia. I didn't want high contrast photos for this photo shoot, so I decided to shoot backlit. And even in the middle of the day, you can still achieve these photos that have a dreamy soft feel to them by using backlight. So jumping on to gear and settings, I normally like to shoot with my Canon 5D Mark IV and my Canon 35mm 1.4 and I also have a few other lenses I really love for portraits such as the Canon 50mm 1.2 and 85 1.2 as well. Because these lenses have a wide aperture of f1.2, shooting at 1.2 means that you have a lot of foreground to background separation, so lots of bokeh in the background and lots of light is being let into your photo as well, which allows you to be able to shoot these backlit photos without a reflector. So these lenses are really expensive and if you don't have a lens that goes to 1.2 or 1.4 and you only have a zoom or kit lens, there are still ways to be able to achieve this backlit look without a reflector. So for example, I shot this photo that's up here on the screen with my iPhone and this is backlit and I had no extra lighting, no reflectors or anything, I was just using the natural light to get this photo. So instead of bringing a reflector along or extra lighting which takes a lot of time to set up and then you can't move freely, with a reflector you either have to hold it in one hand and take photos with the other hand or you have to bring an assistant along or you have to bother your makeup artist to hold the reflector for you. I like to do something which is called looking out for natural reflectors in my environment. So a natural reflector is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically just something in the location that you're shooting in that will reflect light for you. So this can be anything from a building to the sand at the beach or maybe some white rocks or even like a white or silver car. All of these things are really good at naturally reflecting light depending where you position your model. So I actually did a photo shoot the other week where we were taking some backlit portraits with this tree that was just on the side of the road. And to the left hand side of us, there was this really big building that was painted white or cream. I can't really remember, but it was a light color. And the sun was bouncing straight onto the building and back onto my subject's face. So I was making use of that natural reflector to get some really flattering and bright portraits. And if you remember back a little bit earlier in this video, those harsh lit um, backlight photos that I took at the beach, the reason why I didn't need to use a reflector or any extra lighting was because of the location that I decided to take those photos in. 
So we were standing on a bunch of really bright colored rocks. They were kind of like whitish gray in color. So the sun was bouncing on the rocks and bouncing light back onto the model's face. So this doesn't work as well as like a white building that's right next to us, but it worked well enough that my photos weren't underexposed. So in terms of camera settings when I'm shooting these portraits, I like to have as little variables as possible. So I generally like to keep my ISO as low as possible at like 100, and I also love to shoot wide open at f1.2 or 1.4. So then basically the only setting that really needs to change is my shutter speed. So the first thing I like to do is meter the photo for my model's face so that is perfectly exposed. Once I've got that all set, I like to underexpose my photo by about a stop or two and this way I can retain as much of the highlight details as possible and then fix it up a little bit in post. This is what a backlit photo looks like straight out of the camera for me and then this is what it looks like after I've edited it in Lightroom. So in Lightroom what I like to do is bring up the exposure a little bit and then also bump up the shadows. This will help get the model to come back to the right exposure and help us stand out in the image. I also like to bring my highlights down a little bit just to save as much of that background as possible. For me personally, it's about getting a balanced photo, but I don't want a HDR style image where everything is perfectly exposed. I don't mind that there are sometimes blown out highlights in the background and really dark shadows in the foreground. I feel like as long as my model's face is exposed correctly, that's what I'm really happy with in the photo. So the best advice I can give you if you want to tackle taking some backlit portraits is to go out with your camera and practice a little bit. Even if you don't have anyone to take a photo of at first, maybe try taking a photo of a tree or a fence or kind of any inanimate object that you can find and try shooting it in a backlit scenario. When you do this, I would definitely recommend to get a few photos where it's perfectly exposed, then take a few photos where it's overexposed and take a few where it's underexposed. Then you can open up your images in Lightroom and just have a play around with the shadows and the highlights and see how much you can push them so next time you are at a portrait photo shoot, you know how much you can over or underexpose your photos and still be able to save them in post. And just a little side note, I also would recommend for you to shoot in RAW if you're trying out this photography and editing style. A RAW image just has a lot more information in the file so you can push and pull your highlights and shadows a lot more than a JPEG. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you like shooting backlit portraits or let me know what your favorite natural lighting technique is in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And also let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I talk and explain a little bit more in depth some of my natural lighting techniques that I use in my photo shoots. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!